This conference is a joint venture as well as the Vancouver Resource Investment Conference in January between Cambridge House and Katusa Research. Hey, I like working with Jay. He's young, he's smart, he's got the same vision as me to try to create exposure for the junior resource sector, which our passions are in. It's growing year over year and every conference is getting bigger. What I really see as my niche market is going into unknown stories that have a lot of intrinsic value where I'm able to use my analytical skills and my network of geologists and engineers to find value and get people in at the same price as myself that will go into production or be bought out by a larger entity. When I first started, you know, 15, 16 years ago, you'd be in stage and watching, which eventually guys became my mentor like Rick Rule and uh, Doug Casey. And you'd be like, wow, these guys are amazing. How do they know all this? Well, they've been doing it for 30 years. And if you submerse your life into it and you hit the road and you live on the road for 10 years and you do your deals and you learn, look, it's not just success. You have to learn from your failures and learn from other people's failures. I guess gradually the pivot point for me was when I went on my own and created Katusa Research, I wasn't under the umbrella of an established name and then you find out where you really are in the industry and that was a true pivot point and it became a big success but never forgetting that the people in the audience, I was one of the people in the audience and I have to make sure that if I'm not willing to sit through a presentation at any of these conferences neither will be anyone in the conference. That's a little rule we have because I treat every single person in the conference the way I would treat myself. The pivot point for me was when, when one of my mentors, someone that I looked up to greatly, pitched to buy out one of the funds that I was in to become a partner of mine. And that was an aha moment. And I realized that the guys I worked with now recognized me as a partner, not as a, you know, a young guy who's an up and comer. Uh, that was a significant pivot point, but also you never stop learning, you never stop growing, so every day is a pivot point. At times it's tough because I'm so into this industry, it, it, it is my life. I don't have hobbies like cheering for a football team or a hockey team. I cheer for management teams. Uh, it's what I love, it's what I enjoy, it's what I do on Friday and Saturday nights. A lot of my friends can't figure it out. My family members keep asking me when's enough enough, but when it's something you love, it's not work, it's amazing. And I think just treat everybody the golden rule. Treat everyone the way you want to be treated because we've got mutual friends, there's great guys in the industry, and just treat everyone like they're a math teacher in school because at one point I was a math teacher. I hope that my daughters look at it and follow their passions in life. Uh, I was lucky enough to find a point in my career that I just stumbled in a passion. Don't chase money, chase your passion. I just want them to number one family and be happy, that's the key.